Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, we look at the new default methods added in the collections hierarchy. Uh, many of the new methods make use of the lambda expressions to simplify operations on collections. Uh, these methods make iterating through the collections easier. The developer is freed from the actually performing the iteration and can concentrate only on the what happens in each iteration. The advantage is easier to read the code and faster to develop. So in this video tutorial basically I am going to focus on default method which has been added in the iterable as well as collection interface. So if you press ctrl shift t and try to search for the iterable interface so this is the interface so in this interface this is uh, basically refactored they have added two methods in jdk 1.8 right so first method is for each and second method is the split data so split data is the very special case so uh, i'm going to cover split data in the different uh, video series in in depth in this video mainly we'll focus on how to make use of the for each loop basically if you look into the for each implementation it's a default method which accepts consumer this uh, this and consumer is a functional interface so we'll look into how to make use of the for each now next interface in collection hierarchy we have a collection right so in collection interface in jd uh, jdp jd jd jdk 1.8 they have added one method default method is called remove if so in past video tutorials we have seen how to make, make use of the parallel stream and uh, stream so already we have gone through the uh, stream api right so i have already posted videos on this and there i have covered these two methods again they have added a split iterator over here so this is the special case which i am going to cover in the special video so there is one remaining one method method that is called remove if you can see the small sign that is saying d d means default method so it's a default method so method implementation itself is written over here so here in this video we'll see how to make use of for each loop right which is a part of iterable interface and one of the method that is remove if in our collection interface okay so uh, basically if you look into the collection interface then you can see collection interface extends extends uh, iterable interface right collection interface extends iterable interface or if you look into the uh, list right so list is an interface again and this extends collection interface that means uh, this default method uh, will be inherited by the, this list if you look into the set then set also uh, extend collection interface so this iterable interface is accessible for the list interface as well as for set interface right and uh, as you can see the list and set is uh, is extending list and set is extending collection interface so this meta method which we were talking about the remove if remove if is accessible for the list as well as set so let's go ahead and try to understand how we can make use of the for each uh, for each loop which is a part of iterable interface and remove if method right remove if method is a default method which is a in collection interface so here to show this demo i have created a class is called employee which is three fields and i have created a constructor and uh, this setter is not required so i'm going to remove and i have a i have a getter method of all fields and finally i have overridden to string method okay and here is the client program i have created so let's create a list here uh, you can create a list or set right so i'm going to create a list to make this demo list of employees i would say emp list equal to new array list press ctrl shift o for organize import now i'm going to add few 
uh, employees in this list so new employee and here you can add Raj salary you can give any say like 70,000 or 90,000 and department I'm gonna add HR right simply let's add some more employees information Frank salary is 80,000 I would say this belongs from finance department now Kishan salary is 30,000 that will also say char and now Sean salary is keep it 90,000 and that belongs to the again finance finance department and let's keep Rajes for salary again 90,000 and belongs to the HR department right so here I have added this much employees now here I want to show you how to uh, we can make use of the for each loop so uh, how we do visual usually iterate this uh, list so usually we have a iterator or we can we can make use of the uh, enhanced for loop which we were doing uh, before JDK 1.8 but after JDK 1.8 so we have a for each loop right so here I'm going to use I'm going to make use of the for each loop and for each accepts consumer interface right reference of consumer interface and consumer interface has a one abstract method so this is a functional interface so that's why we can write lambda expression for this functional method right so here I'm going to write a lambda expression for this functional interface method so here you can say so here you can print s so this is the way to write lambda expression right if I run it then you can see I am able to retrieve all employees information from the list right now if you don't know how to write lambda expression for consumer then you can refer my previous video tutorial right now now there is second method in collection interface I was talking about that is remove all, remove if so if you look into the remove if method then this accepts predicate as the uh, argument a predi predicate is again a functional interface is having a test method right so we can write lambda expression for this test method right so predicate basically you will have to pass the filter basically you will have to pass the criteria and if this criteria is null then this is going to throw a null pointer exception right if that criteria is you are passing some criteria then that uh, list will be iterated and uh, you can see internally this uh, uh, remove if is using uh, iterator to remove elements uh, from uh, list or set right so and after removing this flag is getting set as true and this value will be returned to the caller right so here let's try to remove elements from this list based on the some predicate so I would say list dot remove if so again this is a default method which belongs to the collection interface there are a lot of insert like uh, we have a replace all which is from the list interface so in next video tutorial we'll see default methods which are available in the list interface but in this video tutorial basically we are focusing default methods available in the iterable as well as collection interface so let's write this and here i'm going to specify the predicate so here i want to uh, write a lambda expression for predicate so here i want to remove all employees which is having the department HR right so I would say HR dot equal ignore case and I would say S dot get department right so all employees belongs to the HR department will be removed from this list right and after this if you iterate this list then only you will find the list of employees 
which belongs to the department finance right so we have only two departments which are in my in real scenario we might have a more than two departments so if i run it then you can see second iteration we are getting the employees which belongs from the finance so all hr employees removed from this list right so i hope you understood how to make use of for each and as well as uh, remove if method is in collection interface so this code i'm going to upload on the github so that you can download and uh, github location i'm going to uh, specify in video description itself so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial